Have a dormant company? We'll do this to avoid a fine. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And one of the things we get involved with quite a lot is this idea that you formed a limited company and you might not have used it yet. So quite often people will uh, form them to kind of save the name and there's something you need to do, otherwise you will end up with a penalty. And that's what I wanna talk about in this video. So before I do, if you like these videos, be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell below so you get notified whenever we release more just like this one. So you form your limited company. Now generally what happens, regardless of how you form it, is that the Revenue and Customs, HMRC um, as it's titled, will know that you have formed it and generally then they send you a piece of post from the Corporation Tax Office saying, look, we know that you've got this company, so presumably you're going to want to pay some tax at some point when you make some profits. Here is your 10-digit UTR, they call it, your tax reference. And that means that they know that you're there and that you need a corporation tax return. So quite often they will issue you then a corporation tax return by default. Quite often in that first year as well, they're going to presume you started trading from the day you formed the company, which a lot of the time isn't actually true. Now, a corporation tax period, without getting too technical about this, can only run for 12 months. So what tends to happen is they'll issue you two returns in that first year, one for a very short period. So let's say you form the company on the 18th of November. They're going to say, right, we want one from the 19th of November to the 30th. And then the next, um, the next return is going to cover the 12 month period after that. So that's one thing you normally got to deal with anyway in any scenario because quite often you might not have started until the next month anyway so it's lining those periods up often accountants will help you deal that if you've got an accountant but if it's you doing it make sure you sort that out or be prepared to do the complicated issue of splitting your period into two returns that could be a bit of a pain but that is there but if you're dormant which is what i want to talk about in this video then you don't need those returns. It's high, if you've done no trading, nothing, it's just literally sitting there. You need to tell them it's dormant or suddenly you're gonna get, and it won't be immediately, you might get some reminders or a reminder telling you you need to submit a tax return when your year end comes. So when you get to year end, normally there's a reminder that says, we've, we've issued you a tax return, do one, but it's unlikely you'll get many more reminders. Um, and then a year later, when the return is due, you're suddenly gonna get a hundred pound penalty and that penalty goes up, so you do need to deal with it. So all you've got to do is let Revenue and Customs know that you're dormant. So I wouldn't necessarily do this day one, I would probably wait till the years past to make sure that yeah, actually we were happy we're dormant and there's other videos on the channel to determine whether you are dormant or not. But let's say you've done your first year, you're now dormant, you now need to let Revenue and Customs know. Now you can do it from day one, if you're convinced you're gonna be dormant, there's no problem, because you can change it later. So if you subsequently started trading later, so day one, you said, I oh, know, I'm dormant, I've let them know. Six months later, that situation changed and you could go live. There's nothing stopping that. You can go and do it. But in order to let them know practically, there's a couple of options. Phone and post, you can do that, and I'll put the details below in the comments. Um, or there is a new online system that's appeared, and you can log on and tell them online. It makes it quite easy. Now, in order to do that, you will need that UTR number that I mentioned earlier, so that tax reference for your corporation tax reference, the company name, I presume you know that one, and then the dates that you started uh, or stopped trading or didn't start trading, you know, the, the, there's a couple of dates that you might need depending on your situation. That's it, the rest of it is a very straightforward form and it's new online and you can go from there. And if you have got an accountant, they can also use this online system, which is uh, good news for all of us agents out there. So there we go. So that's it, make sure that you tell revenue and customs that you are dormant and avoid that fine and do look at if you aren't dormant uh, as a little tip make sure to check on those periods and that if you have got two returns make sure they cover the right periods. Please do share this video with anybody you think would find it useful and I'll see you in the next one.